heavy fighting continued throughout the night as U.S. Marines continued to push towards the capital city in pursuit of Khaled al-Assad. Sporadic fighting can be heard as the bulk of al-Assad's forces fall back towards the presidential palace. Command, this is Lieutenant Vasquez. War pig is en route. We're not missing this party. What is up everyone? Welcome back to Let's Play Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. We are once again switching gears back to the Marines in pursuit of Al-Assad, who is apparently more elusive than Carmen Sandiego and Waldo put together. Today we are going to be escorting the M1 Abrams that we secured uh, a couple of missions ago back in uh, the bog. It's now daylight in the same relative area we were in before. Uh, we're going to be using the Abrams to slowly move up in pursuit of, I guess, Al-Assad's compound. And yeah, this is pretty much the same area we were in before. In fact, uh, somewhere around here you can actually find the, the uh, anti-air battery that we blew up towards the end of the, uh, the bog. This mission... Uh, this mission I really, really, really hate. Uh, sometimes. Sometimes it, it's okay because it behaves the tank behaves uh, other times a lot of the times it's just tedious because you are your progression in this level is not tied to how quickly or how efficiently you get through it necessarily uh, it's tied to when the tank feels like moving up uh, your progression depends on the tank moving which it often doesn't like doing I don't know if this if this mission is just like a long, long gauntlet, and you have to just keep pushing forward to force the tank up, or if it's just if yeah, or if it's just, if it is just what I think it is, which is for all intents and purposes a little random. Oh shit, the grenade! Oh, I wanted to move up and throw the grenade back. I thought I saw where I, I thought I saw where it landed. I wanted to throw it back. Oh man, yeah, I feel I, I feel it. I feel the tank wanting to not behave for me. Could make this mission a little bit longer. One of the few missions I really, really, really dislike in Modern Warfare. And people have been oh, people have been sipping on the hater aid. Hope. Most of you are enjoying uh, this little change of pace on the channel. A lot of hater aid. A lot of hater aid being sipped on. Also, I, I am. I am in. Yeah, there's the gun battery. Yeah, I, I am infatuated with that phrase right now. Um, yeah, a little bit of hate going on for uh, for Call of Duty. And on one hand, I kind of I, I understand dislike, and I understand the miscon the misconception that I think makes people hate it as a series. Because I, I've said multiple times, I think this is where the series peaked. I think everything before... Ex I, well, let me correct that. Call of Duty 1 and 2, excellent. Call of Duty 3, not so much. Modern Warfare is where it peaked. Then it kind of went sharply downhill from here. Um, I'm not a big fan of the series post-Modern Warfare, but I don't hate it as vehemently as some and I think it's actually kind of foolish to just straight up hate the series uh, with the vitriol that uh, that Call of Duty gets dislike is one thing oh shit the goddamn car I did not even realize that was on fire wait oh shit I'm still by it I I'm still buy it. <laughs> um, I hope it blows up faster. I just want to get back in my position. Uh, there we go. Okay. Um, what I was saying was that I think the, this the hate for the series as a whole, like the the overwhelming hate, the vitriol, comes from the fact that I think people see it as like Call of Duty is ruining video games because we are so inundated. We have such a glut 
of uh, milita uh, first person military uh, shooters right now, uh, much like we had the, the glut of World War II shooters back in the day. I feel like people blame Call of Duty for it, and especially because so many of them are so low. Because a lot of it is people see, you know, COD annually releasing and putting up like 10, 20, like 10 to 15 million units moved every single year. And people want a slice of that pie, so... On some, on one hand, there are people who've been around in the the military shooter business for a while, and they're cranking out quality shooters. But there are a ton of developers going like, "Hey, all we have to do is pump out some shitty military shooter. People will eat that shit up. People love that shit. They love COD." That's not like the logical extreme of that is not like that. Call of Duty's existence is to blame? I don't know, it, it just seems weird to me that the series gets blamed instead of the shameless, cynical business move that is like, well, just we'll pump out something that's roughly equivalent and we'll hope it sells in the billions of dollars. Uh, that's, it, it, it seems... Just uh, foolish. Although, to be fair, there is plenty of weird, awful things to hate the series for. Or at least individual games. Uh, design elements, stuff like that. Or stuff like the weird things Black Ops 2 did with hiring uh, Oliver North as an... What was he? He was like an independent contractor or an advisor or something. Yeah, that that was that was bizarre when that news came out. Hired Ollie North. Oh shit, I didn't think there was anyone in here. Um, oh god, this is dire. Flashed him. Okay. Oh god, there's another! Yeah. Oh, man. I thought the flashbang sing uh, saved my life. Got a little bit too eager there. Let's be a little bit more careful this time. But yeah, don't... There's, like, there's there's no need to hate the entire series uh, for things that are, that are not within the game. <laughs> like, for, for weird extrinsic reasons. <laughs> Um, yeah, like, it, it's not the success of the series that is to blame for the glut of shitty games that, that inevitably follow in its wake, trying to ape the same level of success without the same level of quality, arguable quality, anyway. I think part of it might also just be, like, a perceived injustice, like, Look at all of these brilliant games. Oh, you're not shooting me from down there. Uh, like, look at all these brilliant games that flounder and flop. Like, Tearaway sold only 15,000 units or something. The Wonderful 101 is not going to sell anything. Look at all these great games that don't sell at all. Meanwhile, you have Call of Duty putting up, like, 15 million units every year. Eh, I think it's... I think that contributes a lot to the bitterness. I don't know. I don't think it's worth getting that bent out of shape over it, though. I mean, there's always going to be that one big juggernaut. There's always going to be that juggernaut. Uh, where is the inter- uh, the internet? Why- why did my mind pull internet? Uh, where is that laptop that I'm missing here? I should be picking up the first intel somewhere up in the second floor here. There it is. Did I just pass by that room a couple of times in a row? Yeah, I think I just passed by that like three times in a row. Is the- yeah, the- god damn it. The tank is still like all the way at the beginning of the street. We have cleared all the way up here. Like, look where, where the, the rest of the marines are. They've already rounded the corner down here. Tank? Nah, tank's just like, eh. Why, why, why would he do that? 
Why would you ever cross directly in front of my line of fire? Oh, I'm definitely throwing that one back. I missed the one in the beginning of, uh, of, of the mission. Not missing twice, no. Flash in. Oh, flashbangs are so good. Yeah, I, I want to get that dragon off back. If the tank wants to uh, be kind and play catch up with me, I don't know that the Dragonov will be too useful for the rest of the mission. If the mission winds up going longer, because the tank is doing what it loves to do in this mission, uh, yeah, the Dragonov's gonna come in handy. So we will pick a bunch of stuff off. One of these days, I really have to figure out what the the, the progression trigger is for that tank and just exploit the hell out of it. Speedrun would probably be good to watch to figure out how to manipulate that tank's AI. The tank driver's AI. Oh, that's... Oh, hey, it's Griggs again. I just noticed that. The tank is still back there. It refuses. Yeah, things to hate Call of Duty over. Unresponsive shit tanks. Also, I can't aim. That's what I'm figuring out. We're learning as we go along that n neither can I see nor aim. <laughs> I will miss every laptop until the third pass. And uh, just going to take uh, five or six shots with a rifle to hit anything. Just going to do that. It'll be all well and good. Are we, like, are we congressionally authorized to be here? Did I just peg him with the grenade? Nice. Yeah, are we congressionally authorized to be here? Like, I would love an entire Call of Duty game just dedicated to, to, the, to the politicking. Like, I would love to, to, to play as the president. In a Call of Duty game. And oh my god, the guy with the fucking RPG. Always the suicidal RPG guy. I would love to just play as the president in a Call of Duty game. And the, the entire game, it, it, there's not a shot fired at all. It's all just trying to convince uh, Congress that we need to invade this foreign country. <laughs> I would love that. Uh, you know what else I would love? I would love to know where this Abrams that we worked so hard, so hard to rescue. I would love to know where that is right now. It could be shelling the shit out of these buildings full of people who are trying to kill me. Uh, it could be doing a whole lot. What, it's in, uh, what it is doing, though, it's sipping on a Mai Tai... It's, uh, it's relaxing under a parasol. It's, uh, having a nice, nice day. I wonder if I can actually get the guys inside the bus. I think it went straight through the other side of the bus. Maybe it's clear. I don't appear to be getting shot. I'm gonna call that a success. We're gonna assume that it was successful. Oh, hey, guys. Uh, have you seen our tank? Me neither. Oh, that's not good. Ooh. Oh god, there's another one. I heard the little tink tink sound, too. Oh shit, that didn't hit any either. I'll just hop over the wall. How's that for military strategy? Oh shit. <laughs> it's bad, actually. It's really bad. Yeah, they've been clear to advance for a little while now. Oh, thanks. Thanks. It would've been helpful if they moved maybe 12 minutes ago? 14 minutes later, though, like, no, you can come fashionably late to a party. Tank's just trying to be a cool guy. Just trying to get... I, I, I don't even know where that analogy is going, to be honest. How clear does it need to be? Let's go, chop chop. No? Literally no... Oh, okay, the, the, within the past couple of seconds, one burst of, uh, of fire. Tank is like, nope, I can't do it, guy. You guys, you have this, you have this really durable outer shell 
of flesh. I'm just made of, of, of several inches thick steel. Uh, I, I can't be dealing with any of these scary bullets. Nope, don't want any of that. What's gonna happen to me if an RPG hits me? You guys, you can you you can probably take three, four full RPGs. You're humans. I like how I'm now acting as if it's the tank itself. With its own personality. <laughs> uh, refusing to, to move up. That's wonderful. Uh, let me blow this truck up just in case uh, I'm passing by it later on. And it, and it just explodes. Okay, the truck is indestructible. Built Ford Tough. Love it. Um, I've run out of people to shoot. The tank, it wants none of it. Unless there are a couple dudes back here? There's like three people in a window. Firing rifles. That's it. There's nothing else. Nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Tank Driver. You won't get your shiny new Abrams scratched up. Or whatever it is you appear to be concerned about. One day... One day I will own that tank. Yeah, I'll just come up here and use, uh... This machine... Oh, right! The intel's right there. Yeah, I'll just come up here and use that machine gun. It's not in use. Enemy tank, up the road. Enemy tank coming up the road. Okay, we have finally made it to a point where something interesting is happening with the tank. Yeah, can you engage Warpig? Or do you... Are you, uh... Are you too busy tanning? How kind of you to join us. God damn it. Totally worth it. Michael Bay would be mildly disappointed. Not enough fireballs. <laughs> oh. Sweeter words have never been spoken. Yes, let us move on to a different mission that does not involve having to escort a goddamn tank. Should the tank not be escorting us? I mean, the only thing that we should really be here to do is make sure no one's shooting RPGs at it. Or laying mines, I guess? I, what do you do against a tank, actually? I don't know, my only frame of reference... Or like old stories about soldiers who used to dig tiny, tiny holes and hide in the holes, waiting for tanks to pass underneath to plant Lieutenant sticky Zach bombs on them. The task force is in to Al it's all hands on deck oh, land on me. I wonder if this will kill me. Probably. Oh, wow, it totally did. <laughs> I was going to say probably not. I thought I was going to clip through, maybe. All right, that is going to do it for now. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take it easy. Have a good one.